Hi, welcome to another video from Superbacryl. My name is Thomas, and today we're going to be talking about the different types of omega-3 supplements, both types of omega-3s and also the sources and what types of forms that omega-3s can come in. So really, we're here to find out what are the best omega-3 supplements. So, omega-3 fatty acids are really important for our overall health and well-being. As you probably know, that's probably why you're here in the first place. You already know a little bit about omega-3 fatty acids. The best way to get omega-3s is, of course, to eat oily fatty fish. Fish such as uh, tuna, salmon, mackerel, etc. And we need to be eating these about two to three times a week. The World Health Organization recommends that we get 250 milligrams of EPA and DHA a day, uh, either from both fish and or supplementation but it tends to be that we don't get enough. And this is due to choice, availability, price, and even just preference. Many people don't enjoy eating fish. And this is where omega-3 supplements come in. But which supplement to take? There are so many omega-3 supplements on the market, different types of forms, different types of omega-3s, uh, and even difference when it comes to source. So the first thing to look for when you're choosing your omega-3 supplement is the omega-3 type. So there's three main omega-3 fatty acids that you need to look out for or to be aware of. The first is ALA omega-3 and the other two are EPA and DHA omega-3s. So ALA is the primary omega-3 that is found in plant sources such as nuts and seeds. EPA and DHA are mainly found in animal sources and specifically in fish, fatty fish. You can also find EPA and DHA omega-3s in krill and algae sources as well. So EPA and DHA are actually probably one of the most important or two of the most important omega-3 fatty acids. They're the ones that have been most extensively uh, researched for their health benefits and the ones that we actually tend not to get enough of in our diet. Our body can convert ALA into EPA and DHA, but this is extremely inefficient and less than 5% of all ALA actually gets converted into EPA and even less gets converted into DHA. As you know and have probably heard, EPA is really important for heart health and DHA tends to be extremely important for eye and brain health, although both of them have a lot of different health benefits around the body. So the first thing is to make sure that your omega-3 supplements are in the EPA and DHA type. The next thing to look at is the form that these omega-3s, these EPA and DHA, actually come in. And there's three main forms that you can find your EPA and DHA supplements. The first is triglyceride, the second is ethyl ester, and the third is phospholipid. And these three forms actually have different implications for digestion, absorption, uh, utilization, and actually where they go and what they do around your body. Something that's important to note is that fatty fish, whole fatty fish, actually contain a mixture of both phospholipids and triglyceride omega-3s. So let's look at triglyceride omega-3s, the first form. So tri triglyceride omega-3s are the primary omega-3 types that are found in fish oil. Uh, when fish oil is produced, you actually lose the phospholipids and the phospholipids are removed, leaving only triglycerides in the oil. Triglycerides are relatively well absorbed, but they need the help of bile to be emulsified in the intestine in order to help with digestion and absorption. So the second form of omega-3s that you find is ethyl ester omega-3s. And this is where, uh, this is a highly concentrated form of omega-3 uh, and where you take the triglyceride and you change it into in, an ethyl ester. So the omega-3 fatty acid is actually attached to an alcohol group or for example, an ethanol. It's not the way that omega-3s are found or occur naturally. And this actually then negatively impacts absorption in the body. So e ethyl esters actually need to be eaten with a high fat meal in order to be absorbed which is not very good for the health benefits at the end of the day. So the third form of omega-3 fatty acids uh, is actually phospholipids, so phospholipid form. And this form is mainly found in krill oil supplements. So krill oil contains both a mixture of phospholipids and triglyceride omega-3s in actually similar ratios that you find in whole fatty fish like salmon and tuna. Phospholipids are self-emulsifying, which means they mix very well in water. This is good for the stomach, of course, but also in the intestine because it means that they are digested and absorbed in a much better and more efficient way than other types of omega-3s. But really the special thing about phospholipids and omega-3s in the phospholipid form is that they come in the same form as our body cells. So whether it's our heart cells or our liver cells or even our skin cells, our cells are covered in a membrane made up of phospholipids and an omega-3 needs to be in a phospholipid form in order to enter into that cell membrane, which is where you get your health benefits. So when you take krill oil in a phospholipid form, you're getting those omega-3s in the exact same form as our body needs them. 
Okay, so when it comes to choosing an omega-3 supplement, there are a lot of options. I really hope that this video has helped explain a little bit more about the different types and the, and the options that you have available for you. Uh, the most important thing to remember is to make sure that your omega-3s are in uh, the EPA and DHA type. And when it comes to form, phospholipid forms definitely have an advantage when it comes to digestion, absorption, utilization in the body, and ultimately the actual health benefits that you're getting from that omega-3 supplement. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment your questions below. We'd love to hear from you. We're always interested in hearing from our viewers and what you have to say about krill oil and your experiences. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and for the rest, we'll see you in the next video.